squash. TAQ is going to have to work some creative angles for the side blades. If XM can gap close and get the shield crash off, well, he's going to be even you know, just slightly more durable. And going back to what you said, without the small camps, the TA does feel like it goes a lot slower. 7e, he's not having a good time right now on that Wind Ranger. He's going to fairy fire up, but is still going to drop. That's the thing, you go for power shot level 1, fair enough. You want to secure that range creep. Problem is, you don't have the wind run, so Frisk, he's doing a great job with these wards. Looking for a scatter blast, waiting for the salve, I think. Undyne's got one, doesn't want to pop it. In fact, never mind, it's actually the Wind Ranger who's going to try and run and Frisk. Not going to be able to find him. 7e, he's going to be just fine. Meanwhile, top lane, Yang is going to find him a Tatum. Yeah, he... They, they just managed to really run down this lane very well. XM gets a rotation out, gets a good roll. They're still trying Bottom. down bot, though. They're going to try. Frisk, he's still going to turn around. Cookie's going to land. Scatterblast connects. You get the snap by it, but it's going to cost your life. It's not a good trade for CDC, not whatsoever. Meanwhile, top lane, another fight to break out is now the Enigma being chased down. Soul Rip is there by Yang. Avalanche, however, Imitator going to try and turn this one around. This is onto the Pango, but XM still finds the kill, but he gives his own life away this time. So not a bad trade up a top lane for CDEC, but oh, this bottom lane's a complete disaster. In four, so they, they're still going to get damage a lot. 70 can tank a couple of those tower hits as well, enabling more damage. So a good amount of chip done, and smoke out here. BAB, yeah, bot lane, they'll find the Viper. A bit of sweet, sweet revenge here though. BAB, he's gonna try and turn, but surely doesn't have damage. Ugh, that's a lot of damage being dealt to QAQ, actually losing half his HP, but it's not quite enough. QAQ, he'll be happy with that kill. And they are starting to really invest quite well onto that TA. Black hole up top. Yeah, Frisk, he's gonna get caught. They'll take the solo pick off from the Enigma. Very early black hole to be committed, but this early on, John, you'd rather just get it on cooldown and secure a kill if you can. Especially considering the Enigma's had a pretty rough laning stage as well. Yeah, you're you're more than happy to just find something. It's not like you're expecting massive black holes at, you know, within the first 15 minutes of the game. So you do get some value there, and you are still playing poke at that top. You wonder where response is coming out from VG, though. TP's coming out. We worried level 7 Yankee. He's got that flesh golem up and we'll pop it immediately. Pass back into Undyne. He does have egg available right now on that Phoenix, but won't pop it yet. Meanwhile, Erica, he'll make the jump in onto the Enigma. They'll find the tombstone, but that's about all they're gonna find. But there's the egg being dropped right now. Can they focus this down in time? It doesn't seem like it. Yang, he will drop. So will be a B. They will find 7E, however, on the Wind Ranger. Is this Phoenix? Keep trying to run, but now XM has shown up with the Rolling Thunder. Scatterblast will slow him down. He will try to hide in that corner, but it's not going to be enough. XM able to take another kill for his team. And a successful team fight, I believe, for the side of Ichi. On top of the itemization on QAQ, you're not going to be able to stop Black Hole. And if you just focus in on that PA, it's it's going to die really fast. You don't have any stats on Erica, although they are making move here. Toss in, Avalanche is there as well. Frisk still cookie back towards the tiny, so they find a 1-1 one one and looks like his Frisk is going to drop. Rolling Thunder, it's not going to allow the black hole. Oh, mid animation. The Rolling Thunder makes it in time from XM. Oh boy. Aegis is down as well. BG though, they want to try and back off as now the Aegis has gone. QAQ going to move back in with 70, back onto BAB. Soul Rip, it's not going to be enough. They'll lose the Viper. It's not the worst team fight for either side, really. In fact, VG didn't. Blink, he didn't have your BKB, so at least you don't use a charge for that. But it's not the most impactful black hole that does stop the push, protecting that tier two bot. But it's already at 388 HP. They're still clumping around, you know. They are mid lane. They're gonna try and force a fight onto this tiny. They'll go. Imitator is gone onto the Phoenix now. He'll interest dive away, but XM right behind is gonna be able to find him. No problem. Anymore. XM, he's still having a look around. Link forward, trying to find 7E on the Wind Ranger, but he's going to be able to wind run out. The Bashers can come out, the Abyssals can come out. They're still holding on to Aegis for a good amount of time here. They, It does feel like they need to do more on the map. But here is home. They found BAB. BKB is going to be popped, cooking back towards 7E, but that's not going to help his cause. BAB might just drop here and does. Still, the Rolling Thunder is going to find Imitator on that Tiny. QAQ, having his refraction burnt out, and now the jump in, Erika, right on the Enigma! 
is not going to have black hole, but it's going to cost his own life. Aegis down. You have the secondary on the PA. Bash out from XM onto QAQ. He will meld and just blink the hell out of there. Undyne, not going to be so lucky, but he has an Icarus knife, so he's fine as QAQ. He went back in. It's going to cost him his own life, though. He's out of mana. Oh. Did not back off. Maybe just trying to help Undyne on the Phoenix, but... Opportunity for the high ground opens up here. Black Hole and Supernova are available. So the defense is ready. They just need to find the angle. There we go. Imitator will try. Dagger is out. The Silencer as well. They'll make the jump in. Black Whoa. Hole is going to be there. Onto four heroes. What a setup from our Enigma. Oh, look at that. It only takes one, John. It only takes one. Yeah, that's all they needed. Shang Yu steps up, sees all. Tater, looking for a toss back. QAQ's there. XM, he'll get the Rolling Thunder off in time. And he'll make the run right towards the Wind Ranger, but the fight isn't going. Phoenix is going to get the egg off, and now the black hole. He found two of again, but it's cancelled off. The bash is there. XM will not allow it this time around. Perfect position. And now Erica, he'll make the jump in. He wants a team fight. Undyne, going to back off. Imitator, he might just drop and will do so. Onto the TA. A nice shackles. Is it going to matter? Not quite. QAQ, he'll try to run, oh, but it's not looking good what? for him. He is getting caught out. Frisk will take him down. A great team fight for Vici Gaming, John. It's a three for nothing train. you. That this could be the turning point as well for CDC if they catch XM in. Let's see Xiang Yu, can he do it again? High ground, C deck, they've got the advantage here. Vichy, they have no idea. Yang, he's gonna break the smoke and actually sees the Enigma. They'll see them out at least, but the Wind Ranger will jump in. 70, he's already found Yang, but there's your Rolling Thunder XM gonna move in. There's your first black hole. They wanna get rid of the Pangolier. They don't want that bash available. XM's gone. Where's the refresh? Erica, he's made the jump in with the black hole. It's gonna come out again. Xiang Yu trying his absolute best to turn this one around and he may have just started. Or has he? QAQ still trying, but no Eric. He'll jump right back in. Onto the egg they go. 7e. He just bought back. But it's just so much damage from Erica. In fact, that's not just damage, John. That's some emotional damage from BG Gaming. As they land the perfect black holes, but it's not going to matter. Onto the tier 4 tower, surely. There's two down without buyback. Do they go for tier 4s? I mean, they... They're still a tier two top. They can't go for another set of racks, so they're gonna have to go for the all in play. Without the tread of Black Hole, that TA is very manageable. Uh, it's not a tread at all. And you've got the shard up on BAB, so you are speeding up. This is pushed by a massive amount of that armor reduction. Uh, this game might just be over. They've got to jump in sometime soon. Maybe a toss back into the fountain could do it. QAQ is going to try. Onto Erica they go. Oh. Aegis is still no. up for another 30 seconds. It's just not going to be enough. He's fine. Onto the Ancient once again. This game, it's over. GG is called. BG Gaming. They pull off the game one victory here against CDEC. Uh, sadly for CDEC, John, it looked like they might have had a good chance after that four-man black hole, but it just doesn't work out in the end for them. Still a great game number one between these two.